In order to connect a second monitor to your laptop so you can have two screens working, you'll need the following. A suitable monitor, a power lead for your monitor, and an HDMI cable to connect your laptop to your monitor. I also suggest using a separate keyboard and mouse in this type of setup, as well as a power lead for your laptop. I'll be showing you step by step how to hook everything up, so be sure to watch till the end of this video. It's a simple process, but it's just knowing exactly how to do it. Okay, so let's dive into the detail and look at how to connect a second monitor to your laptop. So we're now going to go ahead and hook up the external monitor, as you can see there, with the HDMI lead and the power cable. So if you grab your monitor and do it which way you like, but I lay it very gently on the desk like so. So we're going to put the HDMI cable in first into the HDMI slot and then we're going to plug in the power lead here the sort of DC jack as you can see here when they're plugged in and just bear in mind be careful when doing this you don't want to damage your monitor if you turn that back over like so and we're just going to lay the HDMI cable there across the setup across the back of the monitors and make sure also that the power is turned on to your monitor so that you can get it to work so the next step is we're going to hook everything up to the laptop as you can see there so if you just grab your laptop and if you just move it into position position i'll pop it there so you can sort of see everything that's going on with regard to hooking it up so if we plug in the keyboard first as you can see there i always like to use an external keyboard when i'm using sort of a dual monitor setup so we've got the usb connection there so just plug it into the USB port on your laptop. It's also worthwhile putting a mouse in as well so that you can use two separate monitors sort of without having to touch the keyboard on the laptop. And again, it's a USB connection. It's also worthwhile supplying your laptop with power if you're using it as part of a two monitor setup. So we've got the power jack there. If we just plug that in like so. And then we need to plug in the HDMI cable so we can actually connect the monitor to the laptop. So we've got the HDMI cable there, as you can see. If we just plug it into the HDMI port on the side of the laptop. And then if we just move everything back so you can use it as a separate monitor. And then just move your keyboard and your mouse into place. Now what you need to do is turn on the monitor so that you can see that the dual sort of monitor setup is in place. Now we've connected a second monitor to our laptop, we can see that it's running as an extended display, so two separate displays. But if you've got identical duplicated displays, but you want to actually run as two separate monitors, go down to the left hand search box at the bottom and type in display and select duplicate or extend to a connected display. As you can see there, the display screen's open. Now, if you scroll up, you'll see that you can sort of see monitors one and two, but the numbers inside one box, which means they're duplicated. So extend to extend them, go down under multiple displays, select extend these displays, and it will say keep these settings. You can either keep or revert if we keep them and you've got two separate screens to work on. If you manage to hook up two separate screens successfully, but now you've got an issue with moving the mouse from one screen to the other, this is quite a common problem, this type of setup. I've created a video on how to actually sort out the issue of moving the mouse on dual screens. You can click on the link appearing towards the bottom of the screen now. But many thanks for watching our video today. We'll see you on the next video.